This is a very important video for Asian women, especially older Asian women. If you have high blood pressure and your family nurse practitioner wants to give you an ACE inhibitor, listen carefully, ACE inhibitor, or even another one, I'll be talking about another one later, but there it is, ACE inhibitor. If you are Chinese, an older Asian woman, you will cough your lungs out after taking it for two or three days. So I am making this video as a warning. This is a precautionary tale. The ACE inhibitors, they call it the ACE cough. It gives people a cough, a dry cough. And in, in, if you, in this world today we live in, if you're coughing, especially if you're a waitress or a, a server, coughing is like you might as well be a leper. It's a very bad thing to have this cough. And you don't have to have it because there are safer high blood pressure pills out there. You do not have to take the ACE inhibitor. This is a big, big warning. You want to go with another one. If you watch some of my other videos, you'll find out what's a better one to take. But if you are an Asian woman, older Asian woman, do not take the ACE inhibitor because you will cough your lungs out and you won't even know why. Losartan was approved in 1995. It's given out to 55 million people every year. Now, although the evidence shows that calcium channel blockers are the preferred first-line treatments for most people, they say Losartan is recommended as a first-line treatment for people under the age of 55 who cannot tolerate the ACE inhibitor. So this is very important. Under 55. So if you have a nurse practitioner who's trying to give an older Asian lady this Larsatan, this is a problem. That's, that's why I'm making this video. Larsatan, Larsatan can make older Asian ladies cough out their lungs. As America becomes a third world fruitless mulberry tree that pit bulls piss on, well, let's examine the implications of this collapse of a one-time wonder superpower. Today we're going to talk about how do doctors feel about the greedy medical centers that are using nurse practitioners as doctors. <laughs> well, as you can imagine, they're none too happy. Nurse practitioners were invented to help doctors out when doctors are busy. FNPs, family nurse practitioners, FNPs were created to check for strep throat, tell you you probably have the flu, oh, it's gout, and you're an old baby boomer, get over it. Just kidding, no. Nurse practitioners were not invented to give old Asian ladies ACE inhibitor high blood pressure pills and let the old lady cough their lungs out. That's not what they were invented for. Nurses need doctor supervision and guidance. Duh! So here they are. They work at the Culinary Health Center. Some of them are available at Durango, some of them are not. Now, believe it or not, there's only six or seven real doctors here. If you look over here, this says um, what's it? FNP, Family Nurse Practitioner. BC stands for Board Certified. Now, even a family nurse practitioner, you're only allowed to see him on Wednesday because he's trying to be a doctor, I guess, and he's going to Keck Medical School and possibly over there at USC. I mean, all these are nurse practitioners. Some of, They all want to be doctors, so they're probably all going to school six days out of the week. One day out of the week, you get to see them at the health center. Now, do you think these people have any respect for baby boomers? No. They have absolutely no respect for baby boomers. Why should they? Baby boomers have taken all the money. Baby boomers have wasted, have, have borrowed $34 trillion from the Federal Reserve. 
These people have to pay a half a million dollars for a house that they cannot afford. Hamburgers are now 10 bucks. Bread's 20 bucks. I mean, inflation's out of control. The baby boomers did it all. They don't have any respect for baby boomers, but what I really like is how they smile. When they meet a baby boomer, they put a big fake smile on. How you doing, ma'am? How you doing, sir? It's the most fakest bullshit I've ever seen in my goddamn life.